Hello Pokemon trainers and welcome to the Poke ETF channel. In today's video, we will be going through an entire May 2023 price update on full art trainer Pokemon cards. And as a reminder, the purpose of this channel is to combine Pokemon with data analytics. I will be using uh, graphs and Tableau and Excel to show the price updates of the full art trainer Pokemon cards. And so before we begin, I would appreciate it if you like the content, like the video, and subscribe to the channel so that you know when a new video comes out. And comment below on any feedback on your opinion on the prices of the Full Art Trainer collection, cars, or any collection that you would want me to keep track of, uh, or any kind of content that you would like to see on this channel. So we're looking at the full art trainer collection price. Uh, you can see from May 1st to May 31st, the entire month of May 2023, you can see that a complete English full art trainer collection is increasing in price. Uh, if you were to get a single copy of every single English full art trainer from the black and white era to the sword and shield era, it would cost you around $6,000 to $7,000. Next, we're looking at the black and white era. Uh, in the black and white era, again, there's only eight cards. And you can see Getsis is the top one card that is showing the most increase in May 2023 from $36 to $40, around $4 increase that represent a 10% or 11% increase. Next, we're looking at the X and Y era. Uh, we can see the top 10 increases. The number one is Renona from Roaring Sky set. Uh, it was $17 on May 1st. It increased to $22 on May 31st, which represent a $5 increase, and which is around a 30% increase. Then we're looking at the top decreases of the X and Y era. Uh, there's not that many. There's only four. Brock's Grit from Evolution, Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick from Primal Clash, Blacksmith, the alternate art promo, and the Fossil Researcher from the Furious Fist set. And it's not much of a price swing, uh, even though Brock's Grit, it represents a 12% decrease, but that's only 50 cents. Then we're looking at the Sun and Moon era, the top 10% increase, uh, which is the number one is the Lily from the Sun and Moon base set, which increased 56%. So on May 1st, it was a $59 card. And at the end of May, May 31st, it went up to $92, which represent a $33, per, uh, $33 increase, which is pretty crazy. And then you have your Whitney from Lost Thunder, it increased $15. Nida from the team up, which represents seven dollar increase, and again, all these cards are experiencing a big price jump, uh, especially in the Sun and Moon era. Then, looking specifically at the Lily uh, base in the Sun and Moon base set, you can see, as I said, it started around fifty-two dollars, and it ended up at $92 at the end of May. Then we're looking at in terms of dollar increase. And the reason why I'm doing this is just to show that Lysia from Celestial Storm, even though it was it's a 17% increase, but it jumped $35. And you can see Lily from the Ultra Prism. Again, this is already a $360 card, it went up $25 in the month of May, which is a 7% increase, but it's still kind of crazy to see that Lily from Ultra Prism is still increasing in price. And you can see the rest of the cards 
uh, all these cars are experiencing some good price increase. Then we're looking at the top decreases among the Sun and Moon era cards. Again, as I mentioned the last two videos, we have Jesse and James, uh, which is going down in price, and you have a Giovanni's Exile from the Hidden Face as well. Uh, but again, these price decreases represent a few dollars. Then looking at the sword and shield era the top 10 increase we have our marnie from the sword and shield base set which was a 54 dollar card in may 1st which ended up at a 66 dollars at the end of may 31st which is a 12 dollar increase which which represent a 23 percent increase then next we have our sonia from rebel clash it increased around three dollars and Clara from Chilling Rain, the secret rainbow rare, uh, which again represent a three dollar increase. And then looking at the Sword and Shield era, the top ten decrease, we have our number one, which is Judge, even though uh, it's thirty percent, even though we have Clara, the Sword and Shield promo which represent a 48% decrease, but again, I'm sorting it by dollars instead of the percent because of the fluctuation of prices in the Sword and Shield era. Then we're looking at the most expensive cards, the most expensive for our trainers. Uh, we're, again, uh, we have our Lily from the Ultra Prism, uh, which ended up at 30, $388 and I'm showing this just to show that the most expensive full art trainer cards are still experiencing increases so the most expensive cards are getting more expensive then looking at the full art trainers by era uh, every era uh, are experiencing increases except for the sword and shield set which makes sense because sword and shield is still a recent era uh, but the Sun and Moon it is the number one era that is experiencing the most increase, a 10% increase. Then we're looking at by gender. Um, uh, if a full art trainer is a female, it's most likely experienced an increase, and male stayed flat and a mix, which doesn't really represent a lot of cards. And the unknown, again, I believe that's only one card, which is the um, Pokemon Go, um, one of the Pokemon Go promo card. And the next update. I will be including all the full art trainer cards from the Scarlet and Violet base set. And then I will also include Paldea Evolved full art trainers. And I will be keeping track of how uh, fast the cards will um, experience decreases. It will be an interesting case study to see from the day that they're released and how, uh, the, how much they will decrease in price. And so subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video and comment and so that you can know the next time I release a video, it will be probably including the Scarlet and Violet full art trainer cards. So thank you.